you have trouble keeping your apartment clean? Uh, sometimes. Do you have a dog? I do. So sometimes with a dog, you know how you're, it's, it's hard to keep, to keep vacuuming up your apartment. You know, you get hair everywhere. So sometimes you want to invest in a Roomba, right? Mm -hmm. And have a little vacuum that can just go around your apartment and can keep things clean for you. You don't have to worry. It's a great product. Well, I have some bad news because Amazon is looking to acquire Roomba or they have, they have acquired it. Um, I don't think, uh, I thought you were going to say they're selling dogs now. No, no, that's not uh, over, over Amazon. You can buy them on amazon.com. So have it primed right over to you. So Amazon to acquire Roomba vacuum maker, iRobot for $1.7 billion. Just the idea of Amazon investing in iRobot technology is scary enough as it is, but they're acquiring Roomba which is a vacuum that has to measure the dimensions of your apartment and your living space before it can actually operate or function. Like guys, this guy made a tweet about it saying, uh, so Amazon acquires Roomba vacuum maker, iRobot for 1.7 billion. Alternative headline, Owen Williams wrote this headline. Amazon buys company that constantly maps the inside of your home. Now, Jesus, I don't think it's that crazy to be concerned about that if you're a Roomba owner, Completely. because if you have an Alexa at your house or you uh, have a phone and you use Amazon, you have an Amazon Prime app on your phone, you're very likely already being listened to as it is. Your shopping habits are already being put into a database. That's why every single time you go on Instagram, you see things that you want. Like the pairs of Nikes that I really want always seem to show up on my feed. I don't know how it happens, but they seem to always find me. You know, like the movies I like always seem to show up on my feed. And that's because Amazon's algorithm has become so invasive and the idea of them being able to measure the dimensions of my apartment, I am not going to buy a Roomba now because of this. Am I overreacting, Dante? I don't think so. You know, I read this same Twitter thread that you did. And if you go back to the tweets, yeah, the right. guy makes some great points about how, like, they're going to know they'll, it'll be able to recognize your furniture and even stuff that you leave on the ground. And like... It's, it's this invasion, like they're, they're literally stripping away any semblance of privacy now within your own home. I mean, yes, we know they already got in there with the Alexa and they're listening. There's even people, you know, when I was at TMZ, I interviewed John McAfee, the the crazy yeah, guy yeah. who's dead. And he was he said Samsung, which I years later went out and bought a Samsung TV anyway. He said Samsung has cameras in it that watch you in your home. So. Yes, we are already under surveillance, but this is a creepy new level of being able to map out your house and everything yes. in it. it let me, and here's, here's a reason why. Like if you look at your living room, right? So he says, sorry if this seems, this is another tweet. Sorry if this seems overly alarmist, but it does make me pause given how much modern Roomba competitors actually know about your house. The new Roborock, uh, Roborock vacuums can recognize furniture and even stuff you throw on the ground. But here's, here's that. Here, here's another thing. If Amazon gets this information, they're going to see, oh, you have this like empty space in the corner of your apartment that could really use this table that perfectly fits that corner with this lamp that would look great on top of it. And then they're going to start suggesting ads to you that are, that are perfect. This is just this takes um, like window shopping to a whole new level. Like where you, you can't even choose what you want to look for anymore. They're Not just going that, to feed it to you at you, all times. You can't get away from it. You used to be able to turn the TV off or put the phone down if you wanted to get away from ads. Now you're going right. to be, you know, eating on your couch and the Roomba is going to come up and suggest that you you get a new carpet. You're going to, con you're going to connect your Roomba to your Alexa too, because you'll be able to say, Hey, Alexa, uh, clean the apartment. And then the Roomba will activate and then it'll go around. Um, here are some more points that he made. Very excited to wake up one day to a push notification from my robot vacuum quote. I saw you left your Nike shoes on the floor. They look a bit old. Check out this great deal on Nike shoes. Yeah. How <laughs> is this that a, a ridiculous thing to say? It's not like this not is only, going to happen now. You know, if you take it, if you, like take it out far enough this everyone is talking now about the well not everyone but there are you know increasing there's increasing conversation about this idea of the social credit score that they're already doing in china this is the type of data 
that would be fed into it. You know, right. what is in your house? How messy is your house? Oh, Jesse never picks up his clothes or you just leave shit out for days and days, you know, like, uh, uh, dock him, you know, he can't get on a plane this month until he cleans his bedroom. Right. Well, also it, it's not just that it would be Amazon, but it'd be shared to other companies. And we, you know, we don't know how, like how reliable a lot of these companies are that are going to have our personal information. Jesse, they're um, going to know where you like to fuck. Exactly. It, I mean, it, that's what you have to turn off Alexa when you, whenever you do, so. whenever you get down and dirty, you got to turn Alexa off. You got to unplug everything. You got to turn your like, phone oh, off. The, the Roomba bumped into Jesse's leg a couple times in the living room on the couch. You know, it's like, it's going to know where you do it. And Dante likes to fuck uh, robots. So it's like, <laughs> you know, I was going to send about you a that. Roomba with a, oh, never mind. Who? You know, when these everyone's waiting, awaiting the, the great sex robots of the future. But are you really going to want to have sex with a robot that's going to be logging all of your data in your most personal, intimate behavior? It's just going to log it and send it off to a cloud somewhere. And then right. they're going to they're know literally everything about you. I would never use one of those robots anyway. Yeah. Pretty, you know, like you're going to start getting these very personal products like marketed to you and it just scares me well not just that i saw in that same twitter thread another commenter made a good point like what if this information starts getting shared with law enforcement right you okay. know if they're gonna hit them with a subpoena or something like they do it with the dna testing now uh you know like when you do an ancestry or whatever that's how they caught the golden state killer they're able to make requests from these companies what's going to stop them and you think amazon's going to stop them from requesting no chance. this information no chance and it's insane <laughs>